Hello YouTube, Caitlin here, and let's talk about some tips to make this the best VidCon ever. If you couldn't tell, I'm kind of in a VidCon kick right now, so I'm sorry for anyone who's not going to VidCon, but just ride it out. But for everyone who is going to VidCon, I thought I would give some tips because I realize this is my fourth year going to VidCon, so that basically makes me a veteran VidConner. So I should have learned something by now that I could share with new VidConners, you would think at least. Tip number one is that if you are going to VidCon alone, you are not the only one doing that. Actually, I think most people go to VidCon alone and it's a lot easier to make friends than you think it is. Of the three VidCons that I've been to, two of them I've gone to alone and both time I have made friends and not felt like alone and scared the whole time. Last year it helped by meeting people people on the internet who were also going to VidCon and saying, hey, we should really meet up and then following through with that. The first year I went to VidCon, I had no idea what I should do. And so I just sat outside and kind of hoped that people would kind of come up to me. And that's actually exactly what happened. This girl, Jordan from Australia came up and was like, hey, are you here alone? I'm here alone too. And then we became friends for the week, which was really great because then I had someone who I could talk about, you know, what YouTubers I want to see. And she like helped me go up to them when I was really scared and you know didn't want to talk to them. She kind of like led the way for me and I helped her out for some of the YouTubers that she was interested in meeting. So overall, don't be afraid if you're going to VidCon alone for the first time because you will be able to make friends unless you're just absolutely like a jerk. Nobody's gonna approach you when you're like, Rrr. so don't do that. On to tip number two, try not to be a crazy fangirl. If you have a community pass and you're going to VidCon, you probably are a fangirl or a fan guy, and that's perfectly fine. That's part of what VidCon is there for. But you have to remember that there are people who pay to be industry attendees and creator attendees too. They're at VidCon to meet other creators and collaborate and become better creators themselves. And that can be really difficult when you have mobs of people screaming and running around through the hall always chasing after YouTubers with selfie sticks. It just, oh, it's really annoying. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be excited when your favorite YouTuber is in the same hallway as you because even I'm like that. Instead, I'm saying be respectful of other VidCon attendees because everyone has their own agenda and you don't want to ruin someone else's VidCon because of, you know, your crazy excitement. Tip number three, accept that there are too many things going on at VidCon for you to do all of them. This is a problem every year. The people who plan VidCon are able to pack so much amazing stuff into such a short period of time, but you as one physical being are not going to be able to do all of the things that you want to do or all the things that are planned. There are going to be like three panels that you really want to go to going on at the same time as a Q&A with one of your favorite creators and how are you going to be in all those places at the same time? Do you have a time turner? Probably not, which means you're not going to be able to do them all. But don't get crazy upset or angry at the people who run VidCon because it's not really their fault. Like yes, they did plan it all this way, but they have their reasons for why they scheduled certain things at certain times. Something that I do every year is before I even get to Anaheim, I look at the schedule online and make a list of all the things I'm interested in at like the different times so that if something is, you know, packed to the brim and I'm not going to be able to get into, then I have alternatives to go to. And if there's something that I absolutely must be in, I make sure I get there really early to ensure that I'm able to get into the room. Tip number four, remember to take care of yourself. I made the mistake my second year of VidCon of not taking care of myself and getting really sick while I was at VidCon. There's stuff going on all day long and it's really easy to just like, I gotta go to everything and forget about sleeping or eating. Those are kind of important things. And then I got really sick and I didn't enjoy VidCon that much that year and I was really disappointed. So while I know you're incredibly excited to do amazing things at VidCon, just remember to take care of yourself because you are number one, not seeing PewDiePie or whoever is super famous out there, I don't even know. Remember to eat your veggies. And finally, tip number five, remember to have fun. That seems like something that should be inherent when going to VidCon, to have fun, but it's really easy not to. Whenever you do something new, it's easy to come in with expectations that are just too high, and then you leave disappointed. I'm not saying you're gonna be disappointed by VidCon because I feel like that's kind of impossible, but you will be disappointed if you have this image of what's going to happen, like you're going to become famous by going to VidCon, or you're going to meet the most famous YouTuber ever and you're gonna become best friends because those things are probably not gonna happen. I'm really sorry to have to be the one to break that bad news to you. Going with a pretty carefree attitude, even if you're a creator like me and are wanting to better yourself as a creator, I think helps. I think, you know, just being kind of relaxed and laid back rather than like, oh, here's my business card, here, give me a job, oh my gosh, ah. So essentially, whatever you're going to VidCon for, just remember to try and stay calm and have fun. So I'm excited to see everyone at VidCon this year and hopefully these tips will help you out whether or not this is your first time going to 
to VidCon or you're a veteran like me. No matter what, this is going to be an awesome time and I hope to see you guys there. Tell me in the comments your tips or dreams for going to VidCon this year and remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile. See you guys next Thursday. Ha, 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 ha.